This video is brought to you by Altium 365, where the world designs electronics, and Octopart, the fastest search engine for electronic parts. Suitable grid settings. For a design such as this, simple tutorial circuit, practical grid and design rule settings should be like this, like in this table. While it might be tempting to select a very fine routing grid so that routing can effectively be placed anywhere, this is not a good approach. Why? Because the point of setting the grid to be equal to or a fraction of the truck plus clearance is to ensure that the trucks are placed so that they do not waste potential routing space, which can happen if a very fine grid is used. Support for multiple grids. Here, Altium Designer allows multiple snap grids to be defined. There are two types of grids supported. We have Cartesian, which is the traditional vertical or horizontal grid, and we also have Polar, the circular grid. As well as defining the type of grid, you also define the area where that grid applies. Note that the default grid always applies to the entire design space even though it is only displayed over the board shape. Since only one grid can be used at a time, grids also have a priority that is used to determine which grid should be applied when they overlap. There are also controls for defining if a grid is for all objects components only or non-components only. Grids are created and managed in the grid manager section of the properties panel. Use the buttons in the panel to add, edit, or delete a grid. Now only the default grid is used in this tutorial. 